the little babies. Look at that. Aren't they so cute? Ah, it's just a little baby. And here's another one. Yeah. There's one peeking on back there. And here's another one. Eric's little babies. There's another one. <laughs> There's some up there. All right, you can see the little guys are doing pretty good. We got the thyme and the parsley just looking crazier than ever. We got some rosemary over here and the basil over here. Basil didn't do too well. In about the last month, they got hit with some mildew or something. And I don't know, just I cut it back and it's growing, but not too happy. We have a bunch of bell pepper plants. This one here is a little weird. This is the Pino Noir, and it's like all purple, except this guy's red, I don't know why. We got three on one branch like that. So we'll see how long it lasts until it breaks off due to the weight. This one's got four. And it's got two more little babies growing there. So we'll see how that turns out, right? And the neighbors ate them. We ate some. They don't taste like normal bell peppers. The flavor's just a little lighter. Um, this one here, I have to pull out the stick to figure out what kind it is. That's just nice and green. Nothing crazy going on in this plant here. You can kind of see how big it is. This is our Grand Marconi. And we got some red there. We got a red guy there. I got a red one in the back. These things are just huge, if you kind of look at it here. You see we got a uh, yellow guy here. You gotta know, just get him from a distance here. The sun's pretty bright. Here's the, um, the Grand Marconi from the background. Here's the third guy I was talking about. He's pretty red here. So I'm gonna have to be picking these guys pretty soon. This is an interesting plant here. These bell peppers look almost like tomatoes. They're not all that big. There is one right there, green. You can see these guys right here. They're pretty small, but that's just the way they grow. I'll get an occasional big one. Here's some more. I want to go back to the green, the giant Marconi just because this plant is full of green peppers. And I'm pretty much just leaving them on right now just to see if they do turn red. We had one went rotten on us, unfortunately. So I have put, had to pull a few of them off. Here's one of the other bell peppers up here on the top area here. The, ooh. This is an interesting one. This one here is turning red. He's still green, but he's huge. He's almost like the shape of the giant Marconi, which is really odd. Um, these are bell peppers, but they kind of look a little bit like peppers. These are the ones that look a little bit like tomatoes. Let's pull back here a little bit. It's just insane. We got so many on these things and from this angle here. You can kind of see this afternoon sun kind of makes photography a little hard, but you can kind of see that overall the plants are kind of crazy, just huge. We have had a death in the family. This is our weeby little pumpkin. Um, I made the mistake of cutting the wrong vine and it was the only vine feeding the two pumpkins. One pumpkin was rotting anyways. Apparently some weevil or beetle or something got in there and was having a good time, you know, eating it out and just 
popping his nose out on occasion. So I had to throw that one away. The other one is healthy and you'll probably see it on Amy's tablescape. But like this one guy said, if you cut the main artery, <laughs> the main vein, it may kill the rest of the plant. And sure enough, within a couple of days, the whole plant started dying. So we don't know what to do with pumpkins here. They were really hard to um, even get any flowers. Well, the flowers, we just didn't get, we had like maybe males, but not really the females. And so there was just nothing. Amy cropped, if that's what you call it. She basically took some of the upper branches and cut them off shortly after we bought them from the store. And that was only on a couple of these guys. And sure enough, it did help these things turn into um, the monsters they kind of are. So I fed them with organic bone meal, which gives them phosphorus and some calcium. But I've also given them uh, lime, like limestone, which is also organic. And that gives them magnesium and calcium. And that's what helps defend them against that blossom rot. Amy calls it hoof rot, but it's basically a rot. Um, either you're overwatering it, not watering enough, or it's not getting enough calcium. That alone seemed to fix it. And then, of course, we put mulch. And you can kind of see the mulch right here is what I put on these guys to help them retain water. And that seems to help a lot. So that way they're not wilting in the afternoon. Uh, when we had 100 degree heat, we had all kinds of problems. So that's about it for the garden update. Nothing too exciting here other than we have a lot of, um, of um, bell peppers gonna be pulling. So let's get to that. Okay, so in the background, you can see we got some of the Grand Marconis. These are sweet peppers. Uh, these are just regular bell peppers. Uh, these over here are the Pino Noirs, the purple ones. These are some more <laughs> of the bell peppers. I don't know which ones they are. Uh, we got too many. Um, these guys, this is just a green uh, Grand Marconi. And then this is obviously one of the ones that uh, is mature and went red on us. Um, it's just crazy. We have lunch. These are the ones that are in between green and red. So this is probably finish up going red in the next day or two. Um, these are just great. We eat these things with eggs or we'll eat them with potatoes. Potato O'Brien is pretty tasty with these things. So um, I'll probably end up giving a couple of these to the neighbors because they certainly appreciate them. I'm not necessarily promoting any brands, but for those people that have had troubles this year, this is what I've used. Um, we use bone meal. Uh, this provides some calcium and some phosphorus. You don't really want to go high nitrogen because that makes a bush and not necessarily a lot of fruit. The lime has magnesium and calcium, which is really needed by peppers and tomatoes. Uh, this is also some sort of food. It's stinky, so I don't know what they got in there, but it seems to work. So between all three of these guys, and I did just use some shredded uh, bark for the mulch, and that helps retain moisture. So those couple of things I did seem to change these things from rotting to actually being productive without rot. So Amy's just getting some nice shots of this here. Pepper Palooza. <laughs> oh, we got peppers. So we're gonna pretty much let the guys on the vines grow. We'll see which ones can turn red on us. And then uh, we'll just be slicing them up and throwing them in the freezer for winter because we're only going to get maybe another month or so once it gets down to about 60 degrees these things will stop growing and then after that you got to be worried about frost so we're not really going to get too many more peppers right boo boo there's a good 40 on there still oh we got a ton so but yeah i mean i'm cutting off some of these uh grand marconis just because or grand i keep calling them grand they're giant marconis uh, because if you cut them off, then it promotes new growth. And we might have enough time to grow some new guys. So I want to see what we can get. Yeah. So, not sure if this will be the last garden update. Maybe we'll get one more boo-boo. What do you think? Maybe. Maybe. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and a like and subscribe. And go to our website at amylearnstocook.com. We're also on Pinterest and Twitter at Amy Learns to Cook and Instagram at Cooking with Amy. And, and she also has a Facebook uh, group that's pretty crazy. They talk about all kinds of stuff cooking related. And that's at what? Facebook slash group slash Amy Learns to Cook? Facebook.com. 
Facebook.com slash group slash Amy Learns to Cook. Yeah. She's just looking at all these peppers. <laughs>